Appreciate good thoughts, your own and those of others, as soon as you recognize them. Nothing will aid you as much as good thoughts in the accomplishment of the true task of your life. Be master of your thoughts if you would attain your purpose. Fix the glance of your soul upon that one pure light which is free from passions. Preserve Only Good Thoughts by Brian Brown When misfortunes befall you know that they are not due to what you have done, but to what you have thought. If we cannot restrain ourselves from committing a deed which we know is evil, it is due to the fact only that we first permitted ourselves to think of this evil act and failed to restrain our thoughts. Strive not to think of the things which you believe to be evil. More injurious than evil acts are those thoughts which lead to evil acts. An evil act need not be repeated, and it can be repented. But evil thoughts give birth to evil deeds. An evil act points the path to other evil acts. Evil thoughts drag you along upon the path to evil deeds. Fruit is born of a seed. Even so deeds are born of thoughts. Even as evil fruit is born of evil seed, so evil acts are born of evil thoughts. As a farmer separates good and true seed from the seed of weeds, and selects from among the good seed the choicest and guards and sorts it. Even so a prudent man treats his thoughts. He repels vain and foolish thoughts and preserves the good thoughts, cherishing and assorting them. If you do not repel evil thoughts nor cherish good thoughts, you cannot avoid evil acts. Good deeds come from good thoughts only. Cherish good thoughts searching for them in books of wisdom, in sensible conversations, and above all in your inner self. So that a lamp may give steady light, it must be placed where it is protected from the wind. But if a lamp is in a windy place, the light will flicker and cast strange and dark shadows. Even so uncontrolled, foolish and ill-assorted thoughts cast strange and dark shadows upon the soul of man. When the light of your spiritual life is being extinguished, the dark shadows of your bodily desires fall across your path. Beware of these dreadful shadows. The light of your spirit cannot dissipate their darkness until you expel the desires of the body from your soul. Just as a candle cannot burn without a fire, man cannot live without a spiritual life. The spirit dwells in all men, but not all men are aware of this. Happy is the life of him who knows this, and unhappy is life who does not know it. Your shadows live and vanish. 
that which is eternal in you, that which has reason, does not belong to the evanescent life. This eternal principle is within you, transport yourself into it, and it will reveal unto you that which is life and all that which is true and all that which you need know.